Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be going over some super unfortunate news surrounding GTA Online and an official announcement from Rockstar that they will be shutting it down on certain consoles. Now this news really came out of nowhere with pretty much no prior knowledge from insider sources, so a lot of people including myself were really shocked and there's a lot of questions being thrown around the community right now, so in today's video I want to go ahead and answer all of your top burning questions in regards to this GTA Online shutdown, in regards to who it's affecting, if you're going to be able to transfer your data, and the future of GTA Online on these consoles. So we got a ton of really important information to discuss today, but first off, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and Rafat went to the actual video. So today's shoutout of the day goes to a really awesome website known as Bitspawn. Now, Bitspawn is the first ever gaming blockchain protocol built for digital athletes and social gamers. On their website, you can enter into tons of really awesome tournaments, challenges, and giveaways over a variety of different games and win real money while you're at it. And on top of that, they have a really awesome blockchain protocol project that is designed to help enable all gamers to make money. Click the first link in the description down below to learn more about Bitspawn today and see what it's all about. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So earlier today, pretty much out of the blue, we did receive a blog post from Rockstar Games on the Rockstar Newswire that did officially announce that GTA Online is going to be shutting down in December for two certain consoles. Now, as you may have guessed already, the consoles that are being affected by the shutdown are, of course, the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Now GTA 5 and GTA Online did launch on those consoles all the way back in September 2013, and they have survived nearly two different console generation shifts, which is honestly incredible. Now my first experience playing GTA 5 and GTA Online was on the PlayStation 3, so it's always going to have a small place in my heart, however the unfortunate news here is that with Rockstar announcing some new versions of GTA 5 that are going to be announced very soon and released later this year, they are going to be shifting their focus over to the next generation consoles and leaving the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 behind starting on December 16th, 2021. What this means is that all GTA Online servers are going to be shut down on those consoles and you are not going to be able to log on starting on December 16th, 2021. Now again, Rockstar is going to be sending out notices and also they're going to be putting messages inside the game to warn people about this, but hopefully you are watching this video right now as a quick heads up in case you want to play the game again on the old gen consoles and really experience it just one more time before the servers do shut down in December. Now Rockstar did say that they are going to stop all shark card sales in GTA Online for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 starting on September 15th. Now this is likely to make sure that people aren't buying shark cards for a game that is literally going to be discontinued in a couple of months, but for the time being you are able to buy them if you really want to, and those are going to be a limited time commodity. A few other notes to make is that GTA 5 Story Mode is going to work as expected on those consoles. So if you want to play story mode or do whatever you want there, those are going to work completely fine. This change is only going to affect GTA Online on those consoles. As well, Rockstar is going to be removing any type of Rockstar Social Club compatibility with those consoles starting in September. So things such as tracking your stats, leaderboards, and all of that stuff is going to be removed in mid-September. Now, one of the most important things to note here, and quite possibly one of the most upsetting things as well, is Rockstar is not giving anyone the ability to transfer their progress from PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 to the current generation or next generation consoles. 
Now the main reason behind this is Rockstar ended up removing the character transfer system that they spent months building, and this is because of a ton of glitchers, hackers, and modders on those old gen consoles. So instead of fixing the game and trying to patch all of those glitches, Rockstar pretty much pulled the cord and completely removed any type of character transfer from those old gen consoles, and while they could very well bring it back because the code is somewhere at Rockstar for that system because it was in the game at one point, it seems like that Rockstar is refusing to bring it back and they are going to keep it disabled, so unfortunately you are not going to be able to transfer any of your content or progress of GTA Online from the PS3 or Xbox 360 and you are going to have to start fresh. Now this is of course very upsetting and I wish that Rockstar bought back the character transfer system for this limited time event per se because again they did have a character transfer system at one point, it was already working so it's not like they need to develop anything new, however that is definitely probably the most unfortunate part out of all of this. Now it's also worth noting that Rockstar is going to be shutting down two of their other games on the PS3 and Xbox 360, including LA Noir, which is one of their investigation type games, and also Max Payne 3, which quite honestly I have never gotten a chance to play. Now a quick message from Rockstar in regards to this entire situation, they say quote, we'd like to thank the GTA Online community for their continued support and look forward to seeing players continue their journey in Los Santos with us on new platforms. Now as I alluded to earlier in this video, the main reason why Rockstar is going to be doing this and shutting down GTA Online on those consoles is because Rockstar is planning to release the next generation version of GTA 5 and GTA Online for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X starting this fall. Now Rockstar has yet to release any type of trailer or any type of screenshots from this new version, but from what we've heard so far, it's going to be an absolute massive upgrade. They've been completely recoding the game from the ground up, rebuilding the game engine, and pretty much making it look like a game that came out this year in 2021. So I'm super looking forward to that, and the reason why they're going to be discontinuing support is simply so they can focus on what matters now, including the PS4 and PS4. PS5 and Xbox One and Xbox Series X. But let me know your thoughts in those comments down below regarding this. Are you upset to hear that GTA Online is going to be shutting down on the PS3 and Xbox 360? Do you care? Do you not care? And also, which console have you experienced GTA 5 on for the very first time? Let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, let me know by dropping a like rating, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those bell notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with the end of the video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.